today I am going to do a fuse cube modification with these two cubes, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit because I'm going to do it with a third cube as well. Now, when I made my original fuse cube, and of course by extension when I made my uh, hexagonal prism tower, a lot of people suggested, well, what would happen if you were to fuse three cubes together in the same kind of way as fusing just two together? Now, to quote the late Mark Hamill, this is not going to go the way that you think. The reason that I have never done this in the past is because I know it doesn't work. Well, it does work, but it just doesn't function the way you'd expect. Now, when you fuse two cubes together, uh, you lock the three layers that are fused together between both of the puzzles, so it effectively still has just six layers of movement, it's just they're separated between two different cubes. Now the problem with having a cube in the center of that means that you basically lock all six of the faces, which means that it doesn't turn at all. So you end up with the exact same kind of puzzle, but just with a completely functionless puzzle in the center. Now that might actually still be pretty cool because it has all of the pieces and if you cut it down to look like a hexagonal prism it might still look very cool but it doesn't function and that kind of bothers me. I do have a couple ideas as to how I could get the middle 3x3 to actually function but I'm not going to explore any of them in this video or anytime soon because as you know I'm moving so I don't actually have a lot of time to do a lot of experimentation but I still have enough time to explore this puzzle and show you guys how to build it if you so desire. Now, if this is your first time, don't worry, because Daddy's going to hold your hand. But this isn't a particularly complex kind of modification, and I would recommend it as something to start out with because it doesn't really require any filling material at all. It's just a superglue modification. And for that fact, I'm going to be using just superglue and a uh, blade just to prise all of the center caps off and uh, maybe peel off some stickers if we have to do that as well. I'd also like to thank all of the people that have noticed this Really quite fantastic tool pouch on my hip here. Uh, I don't really need a tool pouch, but uh, I, I picked one up because they were cheap and it's changed my life. You see, it's got everything I need in it. Uh, and I don't have to do trips back and forth from my desk in my room and my office as well. So uh, it, it's really nice to just have everything on my hip. It looks a little overkill. It's kind of funny because I just build cubes, but... Uh, it's still pretty nice to have, and I have it mounted on my hip at all times now. So people have picked up on it in my last couple of videos. It's, uh, it's definitely a great addition, and it's made my whole life and my whole building process a lot smoother. Uh, but to start out with, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be prizing the center caps off just one 3x3, three three, and I'm going to be taking all the pieces out and just turning it into a core. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just the fuse cube modification, but I'm going to do it one stage at a time. Now the reason that I'm doing it one stage at a time rather than just jumping in and doing the whole thing at once is because when you fuse together two of the cores, that's all well and good and you can reassemble everything, but when you fuse together all three cores at once, you can't actually put pieces back into the central core. You can't even force them in because the springs don't have any give anymore because everything's glued in place. So what I'm going to do is just a, a fuse cube modification on the one side going to reassemble everything and then I'm going to reassemble everything in the center before I glue together the other side. Uh, it, it's a little more complicated than I make it out to seem, but you'll get the point. Now I want to keep track of where all of these pieces are because uh, I'm not going to be doing any re-stickering on this puzzle, so I want to kind of leave all of the pieces that I'm not going to use out and make sure I keep track of all the pieces that I will be using so I can put them back in. Alrighty, I'm just checking the tensions on these cores so I can see that they're all somewhat uniform and it looks like this one's a little loose. So I'm just going to tighten that up a little. Don't have to go crazy with this. I uh, just want to kind of make sure that everything's lined up and all right. Uh, so everything here looks pretty sweet. I'm going to glue together the cores and then I'm going to put the center caps on all of these pieces. The reason I put the center caps on is because they actually end up lining up flush with the sides of these pieces. And I'm also going to take the stickers off them. That way it's uh, not as bumpy. But before I do that, I'm going to put some super glue on three of the uh, three of the core pieces. You don't have to glue up all of it, just three of them. Uh, and if you want to see this in a little more depth or a little closer up, then you can check out my Fuse Cube tutorial. 
uh, which explains the entire process that I'm doing here in a little more detail. This is basically just two fuse cubes. So I'm gonna hold them in place for a little bit. You don't wanna be too forceful because they might warp out of shape. I uh, just wanna hold everything firmly in place. And it looks like it's already solidified. So that is one cube done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and match this color scheme and reassemble part of the second one. I'm not going to put any edges in here, 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 and I'm not going to put this corner in place. I'm just going to do this band to cover up all of these pieces here. <laughs> no, does that go in there? Does that, no, it doesn't go in there. Damn it. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna take these stickers off. One, two, three. And now let's prepare the final puzzle. So I'm just gonna completely disassemble this one and it's gonna be much like before. I'm just gonna fuse both of the cores together. And I'm just putting a couple of the center caps on because I won't be able to access them once I glue this core in place. And I've made sure to match the color scheme up so the, the ones that I don't need. So now it's just a case of gluing it and sticking it on in there. You don't have to worry about gluing any of these pieces on this central 3x3. Like I said before, it's not gonna function, so it doesn't matter if it gets a little bit of glue on it. And now it's time for the reassembly. Once again, very repetitive build, but um, that's the way it goes. What am I doing? I cannot reassemble. Why? Why can't I do it? Uh, this is the one I need, always the last one I pick up. Oh, fuck off. Where is the one that I need? Why, why do I always pick up the ones that I don't need? No, I don't want that one. Why? Look, I just went through all of them. And like the, the final one that I pick up is the one that I need. So while I'm reassembling this, I, I might as well enlighten you to the fact that uh, it, I really like the look of puzzles like these and I'd love to do like a ridiculously long one. But before I explore this puzzle in any more depth, I, I really want to figure out a way to get these central ones to turn. I know that if I was to do this with 4x4s and just fuse two layers together on either end, I could end up with an, a continuous chain that I would be able to make an actual functional puzzle out of. But as far as 3x3s go, despite the fact that I like the look of them more than the 4x4 ones, I would still prefer to try and make these ones work than just go with something that's easier. And there you have it. A semi fully functional triple fuse cube. Well, I suppose it is fully functional because this is the function it's supposed to have. You know, I, I would be interested in making a hexagonal prism version just because I think the aesthetics of it would look really cool. So I'll probably make a, a video about something similar to this uh, somewhere down the track. So this is, this is, this is in my little brain box. I'm gonna, gonna look into this more. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to build this puzzle because uh, I think it looks really cool. And I've had so many people suggest for me to do it. So here it is. So overall, I think that this is cool, and that's pretty much where it ends. The solving strategy really is no different to a regular fuse cube, and this middle puzzle, apart from the aesthetics, is completely pointless. But of course, if you want to build it, hopefully now you know how, and, well, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But anyways, I hope you guys like this puzzle, I hope you guys like this video, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.